Sairam children, so uh, today also we are going to continue with the grammar part, what we were doing in the previous period. Sairam to all, and I can see children are still joining. I think we had seen these two videos. This practice one. Uh, this also we had done. Uh, this one also we had done, no? Yes, ma'am. Mm. I think it was this one which we were doing? Yes, ma'am. Or we'll just revise it. Once again. Okay, directly with the answers, we'll see. And we were done with the kind of prepositions chapter only, no? Uh, the previous we have done, na, Harish? Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, this one we had also done. Okay, fine. So this is over, basically, preposition one, okay? So we can go with some other topic today. Conjunctions and connectors. Today in class sixth also I was taking this uh, prepositions only, and one of the children had just asked this: that what's the difference between in, into, upon? And then quickly, uh, because in the video there was very less difference between all these three, so I showed them. I'll show uh, you also a little bit from the YouTube. You see very nicely. This thing has been explained. This person is talking in Hindi, but the way he has told it in a very small video, it's very nice. So first we will see this only. Hello students, so I am seeking a difference between in, into or on and upon. Generally, what is it? Is it audible? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma yes, ma ma okay. Just try to understand what he is telling. Don't see that he is talking in Hindi, okay? But the way he has told it, it is very nice. यूजर की बात करते हैं तो वहां पर क्या होता है इन का यूज कर लेते हैं जनरली जब कोई चीज स्टेबिलिटी होती है इन टू का यूज वहां पे कर लेते हैं जब कोई मोशन होता है ऑन का भी ऐसे ही स्टेबिलिटी और अपॉन का भी मोशन वाले के केस में भी यूज करते हैं लेकिन आज थोड़ा सा डीप में सीखते हैं कि आखिर इसमें क्या एक्चुअल में डिफरेंस है क्या यही है या कुछ और भी है एक आपके सामने एक इमेज में यहां पर जैसा कि आप इस इमेज में देख पा रहे हैं मैंने एक ब्रिज बनाया हुआ है आपको ब्रिज लग रहा भी होगा थोड़ा सा इस ब्रिज के एक साइड रिवर रिवर है रिवर है और दूसरे साइड रोड है ठीक है मतलब अगर इधर साइड देखोगे तो रिवर है और दूसरे साइड देखोगे तो रोड नजर आएगी अब मान लीजिए यहाँ पर दो लड़के खड़े हैं एक लड़का क्या करता है रिवर के साइड जंप मारता है और दूसरा लड़का रोड के साइड जंप मारता है जो रिवर के साइड जंप मारा है इसका मतलब जंप मारने के बाद उस लड़के ने बाहर से रिवर के अंदर एंट्री मारी तो जो वहां पर इसके लिए सेंटेंस बनाएंगे तो आप बोलेंगे अपॉय जम्पड अगर यहाँ पर आप इसको ये वर्ड यूज करते हैं जम्पड तो आपको प्रेपोजिशन क्या लगाना पड़ेगा इन टू द रिवर फिर वो जंप मारने के बाद स्विमिंग करना स्टार्ट कर देता है ध्यान समझेंगे मतलब उसने आउटसाइड तो एंट्री मारी लेकिन जब स्विमिंग कर रहा है तो पहले से ही उसके अंदर है और स्विमिंग करना स्टार्ट कर दिया उस कंडीशन में वो 
जैसा कि आपको इमेजेस में भी दिख रहा है इन वेन द मिल्क इज इन द ग्लास इन द बॉटल इट इज ऑलरेडी देयर इन पाइन एंड पोर द मिल्क इन टू द कप पोर द मिल्क इन टू द कप देन सम यू नो इट इज चेंजिंग इट्स मीडियम फ्रॉम द कार्टन इट इज गोइंग टू द कप आई मीन इट इज शोइंग द मूवमेंट right next let's talk about in in is used to tell the location position and direction of anything for example uh, the frog is sitting in the pond into into is used to show movement enthusiasm interest and transformation of anything from one thing to another from one state to another like the frog is jumping into the pond in the previous image what was happening the frog was already sitting in the pond right and from here from outside it is diving into the pond it is moving it is jumping so it is showing the movement so that's why we are using it into let's go with example sentences the frog is in the river the man is in the well the ice is in the tray as is shown in the image he is in high spirits means wo bahut acche mood mein hai he is in daily the kutub minar is in delhi the ink is in the ink pot as in the image so they these all things are already in that particular state koi movement nahi ho rahi hai they are inside that particular thing me iska hindi mein anuvad hoga me example sentences for into the frog fell into the river it was not already in the river movement hui and it fell into the river right the man jumped into the pool again movement from outside it jumped into the pool the boy is really into his work right matlab pure dhyan ke sath usme dhoob rahe hain the old man has insight into man's character the police inspector inquired into the case deeper into the case thoroughly the ice has turned into water from solid state to liquid state change 
now let's go with practice sentences the sugar is blank the box yes in the box took the sugar blank the box yes into now movement will be there it was not already in the box so we have to put it into the box rama is blank the room in the room rama is entering blank the room yes into again movement seema is in the pond seema is diving into the pond movement now i hope aapko difference clear ho gaya kahan par kab kis position mein humne in use karna hai aur kis state mein humne into use karna hai let's check the answers yes the sugar is in the box put the sugar into the box rama is in the room rama is entering into the room seema is in the pond seema is swimming into the pond next few more practice sentences all the commanding officers are blank the ship yes in the ship because they were already in the ship all the commanding officers are moving into the ship now they were outside the ship and now from the board or something they are entering into inside the ship so movement again so that's why we are using into the ball is in the food court already wahan par hai food court mein the ball is rolling now again movement so into the food court answers all the commanding officers are in the ship all the commanding officers are traveling into the ship the ball is in the food court the ball is rolling into the food court thank you for watching this and for more videos subscribe to english academy Yeah, you can take the attendance now. Yes, better. Thank you. We come back to the meet for a minute. Okay. And this thing is not showing. so come back to the grammar part we we'll with conjunctions today nothing is coming over here Conjunctions are given words that help to join words or parts of a sentence. Some sentences have one conjunction, and some sentences have a pair of conjunctions. Why do we need a pair of conjunctions in a sentence? Isn't one conjunction enough? To answer that, let's take this example. On reading this sentence. You may think that Bala broke the school record by winning the race. However, if we have to emphasize both of Bala's achievements, winning the race as well as breaking the school record, then this sentence is more apt. The use of a pair of conjunctions makes both of Bala's achievements clear. Conjunctions such as these are used in pairs and are called correlated conjunctions. 
they help to equally emphasize the ideas presented in both parts of a sentence. Let's learn more about correlative conjunctions. Let's learn the rules for using correlative conjunctions. Always use correlative conjunctions in pairs. Both the correlative conjunctions in a pair are required in a sentence. Notice here, the pair of conjunctions both and denotes that a hoop and a ball are both necessary to play basketball. You could use the correlative conjunctions not only, but also to draw attention to the importance of both options or achievements as shown in this sentence. You can use either or to express a choice between one or the other of the two options, where both the options are equally good. In this sentence, the red cap and the blue cap are both equally good options. To express uncertainty over a choice between two options, you could use whether or. In some instances, whether or is used to mean no matter. You can use the pair of conjunctions neither nor to exclude both the options. Neither nor denotes that there is no choice to be made. Note that we do not use another negative such as not with neither nor. Notice how each pair of correlative conjunctions is used in these examples. Correlative conjunctions connect words and phrases of equal rank or importance. Correlative conjunctions connect two words of the same type. In this sentence, neither nor connects two nouns. Since Sheena and Rita are both nouns, they are grammatically equal elements. Look at this sentence. Here, the correlative conjunctions join unequal grammatical elements. That's why this sentence is incorrect. Let's correct it by making sure the correlative conjunctions join two equal elements. Similarly, when you use correlative conjunctions to join phrases, you have to make sure that they are grammatically equal. For example, in this sentence, one phrase starts with a preposition, whereas the other phrase does not. The phrases must be grammatically equal. We can correct the sentence by adding a preposition to the second phrase. Let's take another example. Here, the correlative conjunctions whether or join two phrases. The first phrase starts with to, followed by a verb and then a noun. The second phrase has only a verb and a noun. Correlative conjunctions must join two grammatically equal phrases. Let's correct the sentence by adding to to the second phrase. Notice how the correlative conjunctions join grammatically equal words or phrases in each sentence. Anybody who can read this loudly? Sushti, are you there? Ma'am. Yes. Yes, yes ma'am. Okay. Someone else said ma'am before that. Well, who was it? Prakar or Pushkar? Who was it? Karthik. Karthik. Okay. Karthik, read it. Lisa's book was neither in the library nor on the teacher's desk. Mm -hmm. This dress is both sober and appropriate for the occasion. Mm -hmm. The cat must be sleeping either on the cot or under the table. Yes. And they have said that the balance, see here also in is there, here on is there. Here also on, here under. So it is balanced. You have to take care of this. Is little conditions um, make a lot of difference. Yes, Vita. Um, um, what is the meaning of sober? Again, what did you say? Ma'am, what is the meaning of sober? It is sober. 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 Matlab, bahut hi, uh, jase, 
see the sentence is this dress is both sober and appropriate appropriate you know the meaning ki bilkul sahi hai appropriate means bilkul sateek jisko aap kehte hain na just apt for the occasion jo bhi party ya jo occasion sober here mean sober means bilkul tadak bhadak na ho ke it is a very decent dress some people if you see um, uh, they say na they should have a dressing sense when you go at some occasion like if you see in the marriage and all if you see people wearing usually you see people wearing dark clothes bright clothes because that is the occasion rather if it is the occasion is uh, some like you have to go for a uh, this is ko kehte na afsos karne someone has died and then you're going to the person's house usually you don't wear reds maroons and magenta hai na jisse kisi ki death ke us pe you always wear light clothes if you see that's why people are dressed in white pastel color yeah, simple and sober dressing ha yeah, sober yeah. sober means sometimes they say na let the beauty of the person kai log makeup karke zyada sundar lagna chahte hain but sober people also look good okay and they, you can also use it in this way that you are looking very sober today what's the matter matlab tum aaj bade shant shant lag rahe ho sober lag rahe ho matlab some person who is always talkative and who is always jumping around suddenly you see that person uh, not talking so you can use that sent, this word also you are looking very sober today okay matlab kya baat hai bade chup shant se lag rahe ho in that way also but mainly it is used for clothing okay here that is why it is used correlative conjunctions are usually placed immediately before the words or phrases to be connected in this sentence the correlative conjunctions are placed just before the two choices similarly when you join phrases using correlative conjunctions place the conjunctions immediately before the phrases here are some more examples notice how the correlative conjunctions are placed just before the words and phrases they are joining now let's see how a guide at a museum uses correlative conjunctions when explaining the pictures of napoleon in this section of the museum you will not only learn some interesting facts about napoleon but will also see some wonderful artwork see here he's used it very nicely here's a portrait of the emperor napoleon he was both a remarkable political leader and a brave army general This art piece depicts his army entering Italy. During his reign as the Emperor of France, Napoleon not only conquered the kingdoms of Spain and Italy, but also controlled Austria and Hungary. This artwork depicts the losses Napoleon suffered when he attempted to invade Russia. His failure to conquer Moscow was the result of both poor planning and bad weather. Neither did he conquer Moscow fully, nor did he retreat in time to dodge the harsh Russian winter. Here you see his army retreating to escape the biting cold. Russia is supposed to be a very very cold country. Some historians believe that Napoleon could have been more successful by either making better preparations for the Russian winter or retreating before the harsh winter started. Ya ye ya ye. You have a choice you use such words as connectors. This picture depicts his final battle of Waterloo. At the Battle of Waterloo, both the British and the Prussians fought against Napoleon to finally defeat him.
he was exiled to St. Helena and died there. Historians still debate whether he died of stomach cancer or from arsenic poisoning. Now that you have learned how correlative conjunctions are used, let's take a short quiz. Identify the correlative conjunctions in the sentence. Click the pair of correlative conjunctions in this sentence and then click Submit. Yes. Anyone who wants to do this? Just well, name yourself. Well, well, Ma'am. Ma wait, wait, this is a boring time, huh? Pavan. Yes. Pavan. Okay. Tell beta. Both and. Both and and. Both and are correlative conjunctions. Good. Identify the correlative conjunctions in the sentence. Click the pair of correlative conjunctions in this sentence and then click submit. Yes. Some other boy. Ma'am Karthik. Karthik. Not only, but also. But also. Ye nahi, or how do you tell in Hindi? Not only. Iske alawa. Wo kuch kithe or iske alawa ha. Good. But also. Not only, but also. Identify the correlative conjunctions in the sentence. Click the pair of correlative conjunctions in this sentence and then click Submit. Okay, two questions for girls now. Ma'am? Yes? Who is this girl? Neither, neither or and nor. Hmm. Neither. Neither. No. Join the sentences using correlative conjunctions. Select the best correlative conjunctions to join the given sentences and then click Submit. Neither and Ma'am, first one, neither and nor. Neither and nor. Correct. The most appropriate pair of correlative conjunctions is neither, nor. Neither this nor. pair excludes both the options and denotes there is no choice to be made. Join the sentences using correlative conjunctions. Select the best correlative conjunctions to join the given sentences and then click Submit. Okay, I'm telling the girl's name. It's Ayushi. Can you try this? Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, first one. Both and and. Okay, how will you uh, join it? He was happy. He was both happy. Just try this. He join and tell happy. Ab yes, ma'am. He was both happy about his new job and excited. No, 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 no. Yes, Again, try. He was both happy and excited about his new job. About his job. Correct. The most appropriate pair of correlative conjunctions is both and. This pair equally emphasizes both the feelings about the new job. We always remember that uh, conjunctions are basically used to shorten the sentence. Connect karte hai with those sentences of the same idea. Here also you see the same idea is about his job, about his job. Two expressions of happiness. And he was happy. And he was both happy with both excitement said he was both happy and excited about his new job. Join the sentences using correlative conjunctions. Select the best correlative conjunctions to join the given sentences and then click submit. Okay, here Damini is there. But or not only, but also. Not only, but also. Which one made a first one? Not only, but also. Okay. Correct. The most appropriate pair of correlative conjunctions is not only, 
but also he is not only an honest officer he is not only an honest officer but also a brilliant detective because here you are not they basically are not showing the it's coming over here the next person whoever is telling the answer the option will join it also and tell me complete the sentence using correlative conjunctions select the appropriate correlative conjunctions and then click submit without showing can anyone tell me i'm both oh, and both and both and father were born in mumbai correct the most appropriate pair of correlative conjunctions is both and good complete the sentence using correlative conjunctions select the appropriate correlative conjunctions and then click submit this is for boys she was she won neither the drawing competition nor the singing competition the option is on there now you can oh. ma'am not only not only not only and but also but also very good who was this person ma'am pavan good 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 very good ma'am neither and nor are also correct एक्चुअली द मोस्ट एप्ट वन अगर अच्छी इंग्लिश बोलो तो ये है कंप्लीट द सेंटेंस यूजिंग कोरिलेटिव कंजंक्शन सिलेक्ट द अप्रोप्रिएट कोरिलेटिव कंजंक्शन एंड देन क्लिक सबमिट क्लिक समथिंग रॉन्ग आई एम क्लिकिंग ऑप्शन इज नॉट देर Once again, uh, complete the sentence using correlative conjunctions. See, the option is gone. Select the appropriate. Complete the sentence using correlative conjunctions. Can anyone tell me why this is happening? Previously, it was showing the option. Ma'am, retry. Retry. Okay. I'm doing. Complete the sentence. You complete the sentence using correlative conjunctions. Okay. Your voice is breaking, actually. Yes, now you tell. Mummy, your classes session has expired. Please log in again. Oh, that's why. That's sure. I mean, it's almost. We'll do one thing. We'll continue this from the seventh one next time. Okay, remember, conjunction one, first video. E, Romisha, please note this somewhere. Yes, ma'am. Yes, conjunctions one, this red video, and the seventh question. In the meantime, we'll just see one small. Uh, video from youtube itself no sorry Monster Math presents counting to ten. Okay, class, let's count these munchkins. Hello, friends. How are you all? In this video lesson, we are going to discuss very exciting and useful video lesson that is conjunction. Overall, in this video lesson, we are going to discuss what is conjunction, the types of conjunctions, and coordinating conjunctions. subordinating conjunctions and correlative conjunctions these are very important friends don't miss this video watch till the end welcome to sri spoken english this is rinwas and this video lesson 69 what is conjunction friends observe carefully the title conjunction junction means the place which connects two places right 
So in the English grammar also, in the same way, conjunction is a word that joins or connects two words or phrases or classes together. You can use a conjunction to link words, phrases and classes. Example, Vijay and Sanjay are the best friends. In the first example, Vijay and Sanjay, these two words connected by the conjunction word and, yes. Observe the second example, my bike key is on the table or in the cupboard. So here, two phrases like on the table, in the cupboard or joins together with the conjunction or. Let us take the third example. Though she studied hard, she could not get first rank. In the third sentence, which is the conjunction friends? Yes, you are right. Though, though is the conjunction. Here, she studied hard and she could not get first rank. Two classes are combined together with the conjunction though. So friends, don't think conjunction always should come between the words. Sometimes the conjunction comes beginning of the sentence also. Friends, these conjunctions also known as connectors because conjunction connects two phrases or clauses. It is also known as linkers because it can link two words or phrases. So friends, basically conjunctions, there are three types, three types of conjunctions in English grammar. They are conjunctions, yeah, first one, coordinating conjunctions, subordinating conjunctions, and correlative conjunctions. So basically, there are three types. Yes, what are the coordinating conjunctions? Let us have a brief load. Coordinating conjunctions, for example, for and nor, but, or, at, and so. So these coordinating conjunctions also we can memorize easily the famous acronym FANBOYS. See every letter of these conjunctions F A N B O Y S fan boys F stands for for A stands for and N stands for nor B stands for but and O stands for or and Y H and S stands for so so these famous acronym yeah we can memorize for a long time fan boys. Coordinating conjunctions are fan voice. For example, for example, we, li we listen eagerly for he bought news for our families. Next, and of course, she didn't speak to anyone and nobody spoke to her. And now, I don't, example, I don't expect children to be rude. Now, do I expect to be disobeyed? But they rushed to the hospital, but they were too late. Or I will go shopping or I will go camping. At Callie was a convicted criminal. At many people admired him. Next, so I was feel hungry. So I made myself a sandwich. So friends, these are coordinating conjunctions. Yeah, we can remember these coordinating conjunctions, the famous acronym. Yeah, what is that? Fan boys. Next. Whoa, I've got to mind that. Come explore the site with me. I'm in person. We move on to the subordinating conjunctions. These are Yes, especially these are divided into simple categories 
या सम सबॉर्डिनेटिंग कंजंक्शंस डिस्क्राइब्स कंपैरिजन दे आर व्हेन रादर देन वेदर एज मच एज वेयर एज दीस आर या डिस्क्राइब्ड अबाउट द कंपैरिजन नेक्स्ट वी कैन मूव ऑन टू द सम सबॉर्डिनेटिंग कंजंक्शंस या these conjunctions describing the time after as soon as until whenever now that next concession so in our daily speech so we can yeah sometimes we can use these conjunctions though although even though relative pronouns who Whoever, whom, whomever, whose. These are relative pronouns. Of course, some subordinate conjunctions describes the reason. If you ask why, why are you doing like this? Yeah, to give answer for the questions. Yeah, reason, because since so that in order to as. Next, we move on to the some other subordinate conjunctions. condition yeah conditional sentences like see if only if unless provided that assuming that next your places some subordinate conjunctions yeah indicate the places example where wherever wherever you go my network follows this is the city where i Born. So, just like we can use such examples and some subordinate conjunctions, yeah. Also, of course, they are relative, relative adjectives. That whatever, which, whichever. And next, some subordinate conjunctions describe the manner, how, as though, as if. These are. Okay, class. Who would like to do problem three on the board? Only a little bit is left. Subordinating conjunctions. Next, we move on to the correlative conjunctions. What are the correlative conjunctions? Correlative. So these conjunctions always should put together two words. Example: both and, either or, neither nor, whether or, not only. But also, not only, but also, yeah. Such that and some other examples, yeah. They are. Let us have a brief look with some other suitable examples. Both and first one, both and. The company deals in both hardware and software. See here, we can use the correlative conjunction both and. So the two conjunctions together. with a sentence that is called correlative conjunctions next we move on to the second one either or i will eat either carrots or peas for dinner next neither nor natalie likes neither milk nor cream cake that means she doesn't like both neither nor that gives negative meaning next whether or example do you care whether we have noodles or rice for dinner next not only but also so that means both for example he not only studied hard but also works well yeah so he studied hard and works well both next such that yeah it's such a tiny kitchen that i don't have to do much to keep keep it clean next scarcely when yeah this is most important scarcely when when do we, how do we use in example scarcely had she entered the room when the phone rang next example no sooner than yes how do we use in example no sooner did he enter the room than he saw a snake so these are the beautiful correlative conjunctions which we can use in this way 
so thank you friends here we are back again and thank you so i know i have taken extra time today so sairam and we'll continue this next time on monday sairam okay? sairam beta sairam beta take care sairam ma'am sairam ma'am thank you beta